kitchen, your mixer. And then, what do we have? Three different ovens? Right? Yeah, we have a cupone oven. This is from Northern Italy. Um, this is kind of a different oven. We do our Sicilian styles out of here. When you go to the World Championships in Italy, you're going to compete on a cupone. In this oven, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So usually on um, this oven, you can control the top and bottom element. And that's pretty important when you do a Sicilian style, when you see something in a square pan, so you can actually control that heat to make it triple heat on the bottom to cook the bottom, I or see. you can actually turn it off the bottom but and cook the top. But it's not uh, wood fire, it's, it's, it's electric it's, it's oven. Electric oven. Yeah. And if you were to cook just a regular pie in here, yes. it'd cook in three minutes. And so when we think Sicilian pizza here, it seems like that's sort of an Americanized term for a, a, a style of pan-baked pizza. Yeah, like pizza in teia, that's the competition. P pizza in teia means pizza in the pan. So we have uh, two ovens here. These are built in New York. They're Marsal ovens. Marsals, huh? The one on top, we have dome. It's called a dome brick oven. So we have bricks on top, bricks in the back, and bricks on the bottom. But much more space between the top and the bottom than in the uh, in the Sicilian style. It is, yeah. yeah. This is this, this chamber is very hot in this. Obviously, the radiant heat is very, is yeah. very tight. This one has more of a, a flow, so you're going to get a very, uh, your pizzas are going to cook on the very on the top very nice and on the bottom. Um, so you're going to get a pretty well-rounded pizza on this. And what what kind of pizzas? We do you cook make our it classic with? Italians in here. But, all right. We crank this up to 600 degrees. Okay, yeah. So this is your classic this is your American classic style American pizza. American style okay. oven, bricks on the bottom, no bricks on top. <coughs> uh, oh. Your typical like what you see in New York, you see double stacks of these going down the lines. And we do our New York styles, our classic American styles all out of here. You're going to get a very nice bottom bottom heat. It's really going to make that bottom crispy. When you think of that New York fold, when it it, yeah. it, 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 it does it cracks but doesn't break, yeah, and you yeah. eat it, you know, you're going to get it out of this oven. You're going to get a lot of bottom heat. So these are the doughs that you see the guys spinning them and all that yeah. stuff. And and do you bake them right on the deck or do you right put them the in a pan? pan. Okay, yeah. and then and then they get served in a pan later. Yeah, it's difficult because at night I got five, six different recipes for dough. So let's just quickly go through them. So again, down here is like the um, pizza Americana kind yeah, of thing. We yeah, we use a, a high, high gluten, high protein flour in this oven. High it's gluten, called high Pendleton, protein. it's called Power. That's it's about 13.7%. So pretty very high, high in protein. Not 14s like you would think but traditionally, not the highest. but okay. it's pretty high. Here we use a company called Cinque Stagione, Rosso. So that's an Italian flour. It's about 13.2%. It's going lower. But it's still it's, stronger than... It is. Like an, it's like a bread flour then. It is. It's okay. a classic Italian... Uh, Flour. It's one of the biggest mills in Italy. Um, so then uh, up front, we have uh, two dough recipes. We use Caputo and San Felice. And those are two famous Italian flours. It's like the Coke and Pepsi of the Naples okay, when it comes yeah. to flour. Yeah. Right? So yeah. you're matching the flour to the style of pizza to the oven. Yeah. And There's double zero, zero, one, two, and whole meal. Those are the five, five types of refinement. Double zero would mean that you have this wheat and you've taken out the outer shell and you're refining it as much as possible down to the starch, so to that the flour. Purest, so it's the purest, like most endosperm refined of the wheat. endosperm yeah. of that uh, okay. wheat. Okay. One of your uh, choices you've made is that you've narrowed it down to two brands of that style that you love, the Caputo and the San Felice. Yeah, I love them both. And you love them both, and so you work with both of them. Yeah. Okay, good. So it's kind of nice. We do a direct method of, yeah. of making that dough, very standard Neapolitan recipe. There's no sugar, no oil in that recipe. It's going in a 900 degree oven. Yeah. You don't need any extra browning elements exactly. in that. Exactly. What a pizzaiolo goes in Italy, he'll go to Chico Stagione and say, okay, uh, what kind of double zeros do you have? Oh, they have a W of 400, a W oh, of 380, okay. a W of 300, a W of 240. The higher the protein, the stronger your dough, the longer that gluten net can stand when you make the dough. So, so let's just say you and I were making dough today and we wanted to use it in 72 hours. Now a protein that's low would not be able to withstand a 72 hour rise. Has it been your experience that um that the Italian flowers also don't absorb as much water as American flowers? They change, they fluctuate a lot. And it really depends on how you're holding them, how they were shipped here, did they absorb mo moisture as they were here. In the US, we tend not to know how to stack our flour correctly. The worst thing that you can do is throw flour against your wall because it pulls moisture from the wall. How do you store it now? Store away from the wall six inches off the ground. And typically, you would, you would lay it upright, but nobody has a perfect world to do that. When you're training people, and you're certifying people now to be pizzaiolos, uh, you get into this kind of stuff. I mean, is this part of the training, is to learn how to develop that sensitivity? Yeah, definitely. And then also trying to get your temperature, your, your final dough product to come out of your bowl, exact same um, temperature, whether it be in the winter mm -hmm. or the summer, if yeah. you're in Florida or you're in California. To understand the, the, the correct way of getting your dough out of the uh, out of the bowl is very very important because your dough fluctuates throughout the year. So right, well, that's a lot of information. Too. I love, now I want to see see some of this information in action.
antes de ir.